This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Memorial Day. I'm Rebecca Vargas. And along with John Scalzi, I'm Don Brennan, indeed. And uh, I'm sure no veterans would like to hear the story of this woman whose house has fallen into a state of disrepair. She got help, and the city is still kind of uh, accruing fines on her house. Yeah. It's, it's a story. very frustrating story. Yeah. It is. Yes. Definitely causing a lot of controversy online, too. Yeah, good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, poor lady. Mm -hmm. Showers in the forecast for you today. We'll talk about the uh, weather coming up for the rest of the week in a few minutes. But for today, it looks like the coastline should be a okay. Not much in the way of any kind of rain showers around. We have about a daytime high of 90. Sea breeze building in the afternoon. All in all, pretty typical summertime kind of weather pattern shaping up for us on this Memorial Day. Back to you. All right, taking a look at the weather, I mean, uh, traffic this morning. On Washington Boulevard, 301, there is a, a structure fire. It's at Palm String Street and Desert Inn Avenue, so be aware of that. But for the most part, Mantee County traffic is moving along nicely. As you know, Memorial Day, everybody has off, or most people have off, so there probably won't be a lot of rush hour traffic. A lot of people will be heading out to the beach and to parades. Sarasota County is looking pretty good also, and all the way down into Northport and Venice. Everything's moving along this morning. Well, having our news this morning, the story of the woman known as the Widow of Weber. A nine-year-old woman who lives on Weber Street in the city of Sarasota is afraid of losing her home after a series of code violations and fines from the city. Yeah, and this comes even after her neighbors have helped her. ABC7's Kate Flexter has the story. All right, you ready? Okay, we're ready. At 90 years old, Marie Louise Sikorsky has lived in her house on Weber Street for most of her life, and every inch of it is filled with memories. Our daughter started the sixth grade when she, uh, we bought this house. Like most well-loved things, the house has seen its share of wear and tear, which is why two years ago her next-door neighbors contacted the city asking for some repairs. The city found several code violations at her home. Since then, she's racked up massive fines, adding up to about $150,000. But as a widow receiving only $1,000 a month and with family on the other side of the country, she says there's little she can do. I can't see any reason why it would be uh, condemned. That's when 30-year-old Miles came into her life. I saw a situation uh, that looked pretty desperate. She didn't have any help, and so I didn't feel right. I couldn't just walk away from it and say, oh, well, hopefully it all works out. As her neighbor, he heard about her situation and began to help with repairs around the home, sometimes putting in 16 hours a day, all free of charge. Two and a half months later, the house is vastly different, but the city is still not satisfied, and she says she's still being charged $500 a day. The city requires much of the work to be done by a licensed contractor, something Miles is not. In a statement, the city says, at this point, we will continue to see that the code standards are met. There is no harassment occurring. Miles won't take that as an answer, though, which is why he puts signs in her front yard spreading the word about her story. The letter of the law says fine her $500 a day. But then when you look at, at the reality of the situation, a 90-year-old widow doesn't have any help, family, that you know, someone should step in. There should be a program in place for people like this. Meanwhile, Sikorsky says she's eternally grateful for Miles and the work that he's done. I can't say it, all the things that he's done. I mean, he's helped so much, you know, very good help. Yeah, I hate to see him leave. <laughs> Miles posted a video to Facebook yesterday telling Sikorsky's story, and by today, it had been viewed 50,000 times. Back to you. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office has decided to drop all charges against a woman from Northport who was accused of trying to rob and kill a man from Venice. 38-year-old Shelby Gibson has been released from jail. She was originally charged with principal to attempted murder and principal to attempted armed robbery with a firearm, but... New evidence obtained by the sheriff's office suggests she was not involved. Authorities are still searching for two men accused of shooting 58-year-old James Riley at his home in, uh, on Colonial Drive in Venice on Friday night. Riley remains in critical condition at the hospital, and anyone with information is asked to contact Sarasota County Crime Stoppers at 366-1000.
tips. A follow up this morning on two deadly home invasions in Bradenton. Police have identified the suspect in both. According to the Bradenton Herald, 27 year old Courtney Lawrence has been formally charged with second degree murder in a deadly home invasion earlier this month. On May 4th, Lawrence and other suspects stormed in a home in Bradenton with guns demanding money. Lawrence and one of the other suspects was shot. Emmanuel Johnson. Johnson died. Deputies have also tied Lawrence to a fatal apartment shooting in 2011 where he allegedly robbed a man and his sister. Lawrence ended up shooting that man. He died later. Lawrence is being held now without bond at the Manatee County Jail. Meanwhile, a few inland projects will be receiving some additional funding in Sarasota County. Commissioners unanimously approved a resolution awarding West Coast Inland Navigation District funding to more than 20 qualified projects. They include the Englewood Sailing Association, Venice Fire Department and Police Marine Unit, Sarasota Centennial Park and Longboat Keys Shoreline Boating Recreation Program. In all, more than $1.6 million have been set aside for the 2017 fiscal year for West Coast Inland Navigation. The service promotes waterway projects and water safety in the Gulf Coast region. This morning, thousands are expected to crowd the streets of downtown Sarasota for the annual Memorial Day Parade. Local veteran service organizations, law enforcement, ROTC units, fire departments, and their color guards will all be taking part in this event. The parade starts at 10 this morning on Main Street and Osprey Avenue. It will end this year at Selby Five Points Park, where a ceremony will begin at approximately 11 o'clock this morning. And of course, with the Memorial Day Parade comes a list of street closures in the downtown area. Starting at 8 a.m., Main Street from US 301 to Miramar Court and Lynx Avenue from Fruitville Road to Ringling Boulevard will be closed. Osprey Avenue from Fruitville to Ringling as well as Central Avenue from Main Street to First Street will be closed. And all of these closures will be in effect until around 1230 to 1 this afternoon. For a full list of street closures, just go to our website at my suncoast.com. Also keep in mind most government services and offices will be closed in observance of Memorial Day today in Sarasota County and this includes libraries, chemical collection centers and the Florida Department of Health. There will be no scat or trolley services and most of the parks will be closed as well. However, Arlington Park and Aquatic Center will be open noon to 5 and Payne Park Tennis Center will be open from 7.30 this morning until 2 in the afternoon. As a home to more than 40,000 veterans, Sarasota County chose this past Saturday to officially recognize the memorial holiday, our very own National Cemetery. ABC 7's Adam Cellini was there and has more on this very touching ceremony. We hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars as the songs and speeches take place inside the auditorium at Sarasota National Cemetery, Teresa Richardson is outside holding a ceremony of her own. Every day is Memorial Day for all these guys. Every time I come here, I pray for them. What brings her out is her late husband, Robert, a five-year Air Force veteran in the Korean War, along with his flowers, a birthday card. And between he and his wife of 62 years, his favorite towel. Every time I come here, I take it and kneel on it so he could, I could feel closer to him. Cemetery director John Rosentrader says he feels the pressure every year to honor these families. Yes, we commemorate the 150th year, but it's also every Memorial Day is very special, and especially here in the Sarasota community. Flags placed on every one of the cemetery's nearly 13,000 headstones, and Gold Star families who lost sons or daughters Daughters to war, given special recognition on stage. For me personally, um, it is very hard. It, it kind of opens up a new freshness <laughs> of um, the loss. Stephanie Hernandez became a Gold Star mother in August of 2011, when her son, Army Specialist Patrick Lay, was killed in action. But Patrick is no longer her only Memorial Day stop. Hernandez takes time to visit other sons with their mourning parents. It still doesn't make it any easier at all um, that we live basically Memorial Day every day of our lives, not just this time. But they admit there's honor in knowing every flag, every anthem represents the memory 
of a loved one. The Sarasota National Cemetery will have a full staff through the weekend to help family members come out and find the headstones of their loved ones. And while Sarasota County recognizes Memorial Day on Saturday of this year, a moment of silence at 3 p.m. on Monday is the national recognition for our fallen soldiers. In Sarasota, Adam Cellini, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Adam. Great to see all those flags on every headstone there. It is indeed. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. Need to remember them every day of the year, mm -hmm. though, and not have this disconnect between our veterans and yeah. us. Sure. We have showers and thunderstorms in the forecast down the road, mostly in inland areas. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. All right, and a few veterans are being honored this Memorial Day in a nationwide fitness challenge. Don has all the details next in Donnie Be Fit. Mom needed more care than we could provide, so we called Granny Nannies. She now has around-the-clock caregivers, and we have peace of mind. Thanks to them, she's where she belongs, at home. A helping hand and a gentle heart. The all-new MySuncoast.com. Just another way, we're here for you. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. It's our best of spring show. We'll take a look back at our favorite moments from the past few months in the studio, on the road, and in the kitchen. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. Services.com. Services At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, it's all about getting more for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. Stop by to see our new state-of-the-art showroom today, and you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $2.29 a month, complimentary maintenance included, at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. That's Chuck, proud homeowner, regular do-it-yourselfer. Today, he's attempting an electrical repair. This is Pablo. He's an electrician with Mr. Sparky. How's he doing, Pablo? Terrible, Mike. Yeah. What Chuck doesn't realize is that almost 68,000 home fires are caused every year by electrical problems. What? If he doesn't have the proper tools and training, he's liable to start the next one. A little help here. That's what I'm talking about. Call 888-8-SPARKY. You uh, might want to write that number down. <laughs> Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. At Granny Nannies, we provide your loved ones with the care they deserve, compassionate and experienced help right where you need it most, at home. Visit Visit us at grannynannies.com. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Here's a pretty shot looking uh, toward the rising sun over Sarasota, and it is a uh, beautiful start to the day. We'll have a lot of sunshine around and only a few fair weather clouds to begin the afternoon. And as we head into later afternoon, I think we'll probably look at this same picture and see some towering clouds building as showers and thunderstorms begin to replace these fair weather clouds that we now see on the horizon. Forecast calls for daytime high temperatures to top out about 15 degrees warmer than we are right now. We're at 73 now with a dew point still of a pretty comfortable 67. We have a north northeast wind coming in right now at about three, but we'll see that northeast wind kind of switch around to a more westerly flow as we head into the afternoon. That'll keep the coastline a bit cooler. 
but uh, it'll also raise the humidity right along the immediate coast. 71 degrees right now, Lake Placid, Wachula coming in at the same, 70 in Arcadia, 71 in Mayaka City. A little bit further to the south, Northport coming in at 71. We have 72 degrees in Bradenton and in Parrish and in Lakewood Ranch. 73 degrees in Sarasota, as I mentioned, 74 in Venice, and Inglewood comes in at 73. Across the state, everything's very quiet. If you are a commuter today, you should have no issues whatsoever weather-wise. Everything is very quiet and probably will be for the next couple of days. I don't see much that would suggest that we'll have uh, too much in the way of any kind of morning showers around. The air is still kind of dry for that. We do have a uh, west wind um, for the afternoon, though, and that will take our sea breeze and kind of push it fair distance inland. A little bit of fair weather cloudiness out in Gulf waters will tend to kind of evaporate away as it moves closer to us, all associated with a area of low pressure back to the west. We have across coastal areas of the Carolinas and Virginias, more cloud cover. In fact, it streams all the way to the north, all associated with a low pressure area that was Tropical Storm Bonnie. Bonnie now has sort of dissipated to a tropical depression, and it will probably within 48 hours become a post-tropical system, which will eventually be absorbed by a frontal boundary and whisked out into Atlantic waters. It has 30 mile an hour winds right now and it's moving to the northeast at a crawl. And so consequently we expect to see a fair amount of cloud cover and intermittent periods of heavier rain showers over the course of the next couple of days right along the coastline. So uh, anywhere from, uh, oh, I'd say from Charlotte all the way up through uh, coastal Virginia. It is going to be kind of wet and soggy. In fact, there'll be scattered rain showers all up and down the eastern corridor. The front that'll whisk it away, now located in the Ohio Valley, will press toward the uh, east, and another frontal boundary will exit out of the Rockies, become a lee side low, and dive a little further south. This high pressure ridge lifts a little bit further north, and we get a kind of northwesterly flow over the next several days. That northwesterly flow keeps the sea breeze inland during the afternoons and provides mostly sunny skies for the coastline. So a warm afternoon with high UV indexes and mostly dry near the coast. So be sure and wear that sunscreen if you're heading to the beach this afternoon as there'll be plenty of sun to go around. Northwest wind at about 10 knots today. Give you two foot seas and a light chop. A lot of boaters out there on the waters today, I bet. And it should be just fine for them. Over the course of the week ahead, mostly sunny skies with afternoon showers in mostly inland areas and a high near 90. Back to you. Thanks, John. As far as your commute right now, it's 618. It looks like we're only seeing one issue, which is a building fire to be aware of at Palm Springs Street and Desert Inn Avenue as you go from Manatee into Sarasota County, just south of University. Other than that, I'm not seeing any major problems on the roadways as far as Palmetto is concerned. Those bridges look good, and so does the interstate from Manatee into Sarasota County. 41301, nice and clear. Arteries out to 75, just picking up there on Fruitville and Clark right now, but um, no slowdowns to be worried about. We are seeing an accident popping up on I-75 in the Venice area to be aware of. If we can click on that one there, it's southbound. Their left lane is now blocked from exit 179 at Toledo Blade to exit 191 at River Road. So one lane is blocked in the southbound lanes. Be aware of that, but no slowdowns on our roadways. Well, in sports news, Booker High School's baseball coach is officially thrown in the towel after four years. And right on the heels of their most successful season in a long, long time, Jeremy Schmidt's resignation was officially effective this past Friday. And under Schmidt, the Booker Tornadoes were 49 and 56 overall. But as I said, this past season, very successful. He guided the team in the Class 5A Region 3 final, their first district title in 10 years. In a statement, Schmidt says he wants to take the summer off to plan his next move. He says he's not sure if he wants to get back into coaching at the high school level and does not have another position at the current time already lined up. All right, well, nationwide today, people will be taking on a fitness challenge in honor of a Navy SEAL killed in action. Yes, and this workout is one for a Navy SEAL. It's not an easy one. Lieutenant Michael Patrick Murphy developed his own personal workout while stationed in the Middle East. So CrossFit gyms across the nation hold the Murph Challenge every Memorial Day using that workout.
Almost one and a half million American soldiers have been killed while serving our country. In June of 2005, Lieutenant Michael Patrick Murphy was one of them. Murph, a Navy SEAL, was killed in battle in Afghanistan and awarded the highest honor possible, the Congressional Medal of Honor, posthumously. While in the desert, he created a workout for himself, and that workout is now used by CrossFit gyms nationwide on Memorial Day. It's a workout that he did weekly, and he called it body armor. Uh, so it's something he did himself to kind of get himself in shape while he was deployed over, overseas uh, with minimal equipment. Papa's Gym, Real Fitness Sarasota, is part of this event that has raised almost $100,000 since its inception, and Real Fitness members are eager to help out the cause. Murph is uh, it's exciting because there's so much energy in here that day, and it's just a real thrill and a real challenge to be able to put yourself through that. The Memorial Day workout befitting a Navy SEAL is not an easy one, but then again, that's why they call it the Murph Challenge. The Murph workout is a one mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then followed with another one mile run. But wait, there's more, believe it or not. As prescribed, it's done with a 20-pound vest for guys and a 14-pound vest for women. Real Fitness Sarasota raises its Murph Challenge money in the name of another fallen Navy SEAL, Brian Bill. Bill's dad, Scott, lives here in Sarasota and works out at RFS, and he runs the Brian Bill Foundation. He's a close friend of the family and of the gym, so every year we, the last few years, we've been benefiting that program. That's what we're going to for this year as well. So everybody at Real Fitness and around the nation is in this together. CrossFit's really big about the camaraderie and so during and then after being able to celebrate Memorial Day and what we have and the freedom we have. It's a great atmosphere. People are cheering you on. Even if it takes you an hour, you know, there's gonna be a group of people waiting for you at the finish line to make you know cheer you on help you finish the thing. Wow. So many ways you can honor our, our fallen heroes today. Yeah, well Even and CrossFit thought. gyms are are you know very uh, military intense like oh, they, true. they are yeah. uh, uh, always look to the military and yeah there's three CrossFit gyms that I know around here mm -hmm. CrossFit Lakewood Ranch, Real Fitness Sarasota and CrossFit Sarasota. All so doing the Murph. All doing the Murph. Yeah, that's great. And then hitting the surf. Yeah, we don't want <laughs> much of a surf here but. Yeah. Still had on Good Morning Sun Coast. A new car on the road to help keep some kitty drivers safe next in Tech Bites. Discover the biggest savings of the year on some of America's favorite vehicles during the Drive and Discover event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Drive away in America's hottest SUV, a new Jeep Cherokee for just $19,999. Get a new 2016 Jeep Patriot for just $14,999. Or shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers and get the lowest prices around. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage internal bleeding or if a loved one died as a result call ivc filter helpline today our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you you'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor call today for a free confidential consultation don't fight this alone call ivc filter helpline now Please call 800-897-6764 that is 800-897-6764 Hey, I'm really glad that you're taking a few moments to check out this video about the ministry of First Sarasota, downtown Baptist Church. I'm William Hill, lead pastor here at First Sarasota. For the last 15 years, it's been my privilege to share in the life of this faith community, a community that centers itself around faith, friends, and family. Indeed, it is a ministry that's been in existence right here in this wonderful city for over a century. Are you or a loved one currently suffering from chronic knee pain, arthritis, or osteoarthritis of the knee? Has physical therapy, surgery, steroid injections, ibuprofen, and other NSAIDs failed to provide relief? 
then you may be a candidate for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. The AARP program utilizes the latest fluoroscopic guidance technology to deliver a new joint fluid supplement that cushions the knee and reduces pain. Specialized knee bracing is then applied to unload the knee and increase joint space. Finally, advanced rehabilitative therapies are performed to strengthen the muscles and ligaments of the knee. When combined, these treatments have helped many patients reduce or even eliminate their joint pain and return to normal active lifestyles. The best part is the AARP program is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Tired of living with knee pain? Then call the number on your screen right now to see if you qualify for our advanced arthritis relief protocol. Welcome back at 625, and Amazon is out with a way to let more people appreciate its Alexa personal assistant. Alexa? Not Siri. Siri. Yeah, Alexa's mm. replacing Siri. Woo. ABC's Diane Macedo and Kenneth Gibson have the details in this morning Tech Bites. In today's Tech Bites, you don't need an Echo to play with Alexa. That's Amazon's voice-activated digital assistant, part of its Echo home speakers. There's now a web-based version of Alexa, although it's more limited than the original. The mastermind behind the Nest Smart Thermostat has come up with a smart go-kart that can give junior drivers a head start lesson on electric cars. The Arrow Smart Cart provides parents with a mobile app that can limit speed and distance as well as a stop button for emergencies. If getting out of bed to make your first cup of coffee is too tough, here's the alarm clock of your dreams. The barista brews your morning joe right next to your bed. Just load it before you go to sleep, and your wake-up cup will be just an arm's length away. It also works with tea, by the way. Wake and up. if you accidentally hit it, that's quite a wake-up call as well. <laughs> kind of a dangerous news <laughs> button. Those are your tech bites. Have a great day. In a good, clean salad, every ingredient is the main ingredient. The new Green Goddess Cobb with avocado, bacon, freshly made dressing, tomato... What was that? ...and chicken. At Panera, food as it should be. Our bright, bold ocean spray craisins dried cranberries transform everything, so we're doing a taste test. Which tastes better? B. B. And... Mmm. B. Craisins dried cranberries, flavor you can see. When your pain reliever stops working, your whole day stops. Mm. Excuse me. Try this. But just one Aleve can last 12 hours. Tylenol and Advil can quit after six. So live your whole day, not part, with 12 hour Aleve. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. On the Suncoast. And across America, the news you care about. Is on your Suncoast News at 5. And ABC World News Tonight at 6.30. People you trust. Scott Dennis, Haley Wilkes, David Muir. First, the Suncoast. And then, the world. Hurricane season is here. And once again, ABC 7 is providing you vital information you need to protect your family and property when severe weather threatens the Sun Coast. Hurricane season is here. We'll show you how to prepare and we'll open up the My Sun Coast helpline to answer your questions on putting together your readiness plan and survival kit. Join the official Sun Coast Storm Team for Surviving a Hurricane, a live presentation of ABC 7, your Sun Coast News, Wednesday, June 1st at 7. Trusco Bank has hometown checking, free mobile app, no monthly fees, and free use of over 55,000 ATMs worldwide. Are you happy with your bank? Go to TruscoBank.com for details. Your hometown bank, Trusco. Member FDIC. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for which she could afford and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. 
So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call A Place for Mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free Senior Care Compass eBook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now, 800-290-0352, 800-290-0352. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Manasota flooring. In the wrong hands, this little peanut can be life-threatening. Up until now, the only solution for a food allergy has been to avoid the food and carry an EpiPen. But now there is oral immunotherapy, or OIT. At Wyndham Allergy, we are conducting an investigational trial of peanut OIT using increasing amounts of peanut flour to gradually increase tolerance. If you or someone you love has a severe allergy to peanut, call Wyndham Allergy at 941-927-4888. Eating should be a pleasure, not an accident waiting to happen. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, forget the Democrats and Republicans, a third presidential nominee has entered the ring. Controversy brews over the killing of a gorilla at the Cincinnati Zoo. We'll tell you why zookeepers had to put the animal down. And a patriotic parade made its way through Lakewood Ranch to honor our fallen soldiers. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Welcome back. I'm Rebecca Vargas. And I'm Don Brennan, along with John Scalzi, and Memorial Day. And obviously, freedom did not come free, and we appreciate what all those soldiers, yeah. living and in the past, have done mm -hmm. for us, no doubt. Yeah, so many special ceremonies. We have another parade coming through downtown Sarasota, so you don't want to miss it. Yeah, and the weather should cooperate nicely for it. So, uh, you know, luckily we've had some Memorial Days where there's been some rain showers around. Not today. Today looks great. A lot of sunshine out there. Low relative humidity, relatively speaking. And we'll have a, a daytime high that'll top out warm, but there'll be a nice little sea breeze building near the coastline that should keep things a little bit better there. All in all, a beautiful day shaping up for us. Complete forecast coming up in a few. Thank you, John, and everybody having a day off, or a lot of people having a day off, so not a lot of traffic, especially rush hour traffic, but there are a couple of notes to take note of. In Ringling Boulevard, there's a building fire at Main Street, and so be aware of that in Sarasota. Also, a little north of that on 301, or just off of 301, Palm, String, Palm Springs Street, there's a building fire at Desert Inn Avenue. So you want to be aware of those issues as you get ready. And obviously, Ringling in Maine, there's a parade getting ready to go on. So we don't want that to be thwarted in any way. Everything else on the Sun Coast is looking pretty good. As I said, no school or work, so no rush hour traffic. But then down 75, um, there is a lot a southbound lane that is closed on I-75 between mile marker 179 and mile marker 191. So be aware of that. That's I-75 south with a lane closure and then another issue. There is the left lane block from 179 to 191. But then as you move south, there's an accident and you need to be aware of, but that's probably the two accidents that are closing that big stretch there, one lane southbound on I-75. All right, now, topping our news this half hour, presumptive GOP nominee Donald Trump spent the Memorial Day weekend rallying the veterans for support. Meanwhile, Democrat Bernie Sanders has been busy in California ahead of the state's big primary next week, and there's now a third-party candidate in the race. This Memorial Day, it's the unofficial start to the summer, and the 2016 race is heating up. So we're going to rebuild our military, and we're going to take care of our veterans. Sunday, Donald Trump was in Washington revving up support at the Rolling Thunder motorcycle run. The event brings awareness to prisoners of war and service members missing in action. But it's Trump's comment about one former POW, John McCain, that's getting new attention. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. The only former GOP nominee to endorse Trump, decorated veteran Bob Dole, says Trump needs to apologize. Bernie Sanders continues to call out Trump and his Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton. Sunday night, Sanders rallied thousands in Fresno ahead of next week's California primary. The state's senior senator and Clinton supporter, Dianne Feinstein, says it's time for Sanders to bow out. 
he ought to be able to read the signpost. If he did that, he would know that it's all but over. But the candidates in the race have a new opponent. For the nominee for President of the United States, Governor Gary Johnson. Over the weekend in Orlando, two-term New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson emerged as the Libertarian candidate for president. Well, presidential races are often tough for third-party candidates, but the polls say a good bit of voters are looking for an alternative to the likely nominees, Trump and Clinton, so the Libertarians believe they do have a real shot. It was a rainy weekend in the Lone Star State, very rainy, and severe flooding there took six lives over the holiday weekend. One woman died when the car she was riding in was swept from the street by a flooded creek. Coast Guards there are also looking for a man who went missing after rescuing a woman and was then swept away by the waters. The woman was able to make it to shore. The man, however, is now being searched for. Coast Guards deployed boat and helicopter crews to look for the man. The search was expected to last all last night and into this morning. If they have not found him yet. Well, back here in Florida, a 13 year old boy is badly hurt after a shark attack. Video captured the incident as the boy was being pulled out of the water. Police say he and his stepfather were swimming in chest deep water at Neptune Beach near Jacksonville when the shark attacked. The boy suffered an eight inch bite beneath or behind his right knee, rather, and the top of his calf. One man was sitting on shore with his fiance when they saw the boy being pulled from the water. All of a sudden, we hear a yell. Of someone saying, oh my God, he got bit. And this lady runs in the water, carries this boy, he had to have been at least 12, 12 years old, carries the boy out from the water, and all you see is just blood dripping and dripping out for about 50 feet. The boy was taken to the hospital with serious injuries, but not life threatening. Police say this was the first shark attack of the season at the beach. The zoo in Cincinnati is temporarily closed after a gorilla was killed to save a boy who slipped into the gorilla enclosure. On Saturday, a four-year-old boy fell 15 feet into the exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo on Saturday. The boy survived the fall and visitors witnessed a 17-year-old gorilla Harambe dragged the boy violently around, fearing for the child's life. A special animal response team shot and killed Harambe. The boy is home and doing fine, but some critics are blaming his parents for the gorilla's death. An online petition asking for them to be prosecuted received more than 8,000 signatures in less than 24 hours. The zoo says the safety barrier had never been breached before, but it says it will study the incident to improve the safety of the animals. In Kentucky, there's public outrage after a driver plowed down dozens of military memorial crosses. The incident took place this Saturday, and according to police, out of the 5,000 crosses, about 160 were knocked down and at least 20 completely destroyed. The man responsible has been arrested. Well, Lisa. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a crazy situation back here on the Sun Coast. That's our Q Vets hosted an inaugural event. They hope will become a tradition on Memorial Day weekend. That's our friend Maverick of 92.1 Country Music Station. Yeah, veterans, emergency services personnel and families march along Tamami Trail Saturday morning in Sarasota County. The event was to honor those who have fallen while serving our nation and community. The march also raised money for the Dennis V. Cooper Foundation, which grants wishes for military veterans suffering from terminal illnesses. Also, the Memorial Day Tribute to Heroes Parade took place last night on Main Street in Sarasota. More than three dozen floats, bands, clubs, and organizations marched along the parade route, honoring those who are fighting and have fought for our country. It's grown by leaps and bounds, and it's just an amazing, amazing turnout to, you know, to, to pay tribute to all those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Parade spectators brought non-perishable food items and toiletry items to send to troops overseas. Great. Well, anglers from around the region also came together this weekend for this year's Suncoast Tarpon Shootout. Fishermen went out yesterday on kayaks and boats hoping for their big catch. They were able to fish between Clearwater Pass and Stump Pass down in Englewood. The tournament is strictly catch and release, and the anglers take photos of the tarpons for proof. Proceeds from the event benefit All Children's Hospital and Heroes on the Water, which is an organization helping veterans unwind through 
fishing and other outdoor activities. Happening today in Venice, rhythm, blues, and food all in the river for a good cause. Snookhaven is hosting their annual Mayaka River Blues Festival today. The family-friendly celebration features smokehouse barbecue, fresh seafood, craft beers, and of course, lots of live music. This is the fifth year of the music festival. Proceeds from it will go to the Loveland Center's Loveland Village in Venice. I'm sure a lot of people will be out there today. Oh, yes, indeed. And Mike and Justin always put on a good party. Marie mm -hmm. Selby Botanical Gardens also puts on a good party, and they now have found a creative way to encourage year-round traffic to the gardens. Yeah, kind of a scavenger hunt. The yeah. gardens has hidden 40 binocular sets filled with free passes to the 40-year-old attraction throughout Sarasota and Manatee counties. The sets can be found in public places, parks, and shopping areas in Bradenton, Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch, Venice, and Northport. Overall, there's 80 free passes to be found. They'll be inside small black cases marked Marie Selby Botanical Gardens with a big sticker advertising a quote prize inside. The hunt officially starts tomorrow. And the passes can be used from May 31st through July 31st and you get to keep the binoculars <laughs> as well. So keep your eye out. You never know where they might be. Yeah, Sounds like a lot of fun trying to find these. Like binoculars. a box of Cracker Jacks. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. A little prize inside. Yeah. So if you know where to find that prize, see this? You got to yeah, look you don't around. Know. I like it. My hometown radio station mm -hmm. used to do a scavenger hunt and just give a clue each day or oh, each that's hour. Fun. I like and you had the whole town looking for things. Yeah. Well, that's they great. might have to do that if nobody finds these binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you find one. Give us a hint once in a while. Uh, showers in the forecast, yes, but they should not be a big deal for most folks here on the Sun Coast near the beaches. We'll talk about that in a minute. Why I joined SWC Property is was from the moment I stepped foot into the office, I felt an immediate family vibe that I knew I wanted to be part of. Didn't matter if you were in the industry for 30 years or it was your first day on the job, everyone had the same mentality to put the customer before the commission. I like the fact that um, I can help them with the biggest purchase of their life. Uh, it's a very scary uh, situation for them, and I just like taking the time to make it as simple as possible. Did you know? Many dogs are returned to shelters simply because they lack obedience. Contact Canine Corral about various training programs. We train dogs and their owners. Canine Corral, where the love is. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Sunset Fiat is Italian style. Sunset Fiat is fashion forward. Come see the all new Fiat collection at Sunset Fiat with new 2015 Fiat 500 priced from $12,999. Sunset Fiat is cool and sexy with freedom to move and room to evolve. Visit Sunset Fiat in Sarasota or shop online at fiatusaofsarasota.com. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. 
It's a pretty nice start to the day, actually. A lot of blue sky out there, and temperatures are, are fairly uh, mild. It was 73 degrees, but the dew point value at 67 is so nice. And, and and you know we don't we don't have dew points right now that are in the 70s so enjoy it it's going to be a beautiful afternoon with a lot of sunshine out there and a general wind out of the northeast to start will shift a little bit more to the northwest then dew points may rise a little bit this afternoon uh, we are looking at uh, temperatures across the region which are pretty much the same in the lower 70s most everywhere 70 in Wachula Arcadia Mayaca 71 in Parish Bradenton 72 Lakewood Ranch and 73 is a little further to the south in Venice and Inglewood and 75 degrees out there at Longbow Key. So across the peninsula, right now, everything is very quiet. We've got some scattered showers out in the Atlantic and down around the Florida Straits, but locally, everything is tame. If you are one of those folks who are traveling to work today, you should have no issues whatsoever weather-wise. Everything looks pretty quiet out there. A uh, little bit of cloud cover out in the uh, Gulf waters, but that has a tendency to be kind of mixing away as it gets closer to us. I really don't see a big issue there. And locally, a little bit of cloud cover we had during the overnight has gone away. Now, there's a fair amount of cloud around areas of the Carolina and Virginia coastline. That was Bonnie. And I say was, it still is. It's a tropical depression now, not a tropical storm any longer. It doesn't have much of a punch in terms of wind, and a lot of the moisture is decreasing. But it's still capable of producing a shower or two, and we certainly have some fair amount of cloud cover across the coastal region. So it is... Uh, still a significant impact on this Memorial Day weekend. The rip current issues are still up across uh, that area of the coastline. Um, we'll have a 30 mile an hour wind sustained, but only in a small little area offshore mostly. And uh, Bonnie will continue to drift slowly, very slowly off to the north and to the east. And then in the last uh, couple of days, it'll start to accelerate as it becomes more of a post-tropical system. Absorbed by a frontal boundary back to the west, it'll be then pushed off fairly quickly into the Atlantic. Low pressure again back to the west, producing some scattered rain showers and even a thunderstorm or two from the northern tier all the way down to Texas. But severe weather, probably not in the cards for a good chunk of the United States today. High pressure, the dominant weather feature for us, brings us that reinforced sea breeze front, takes most of the shower activity and pushes it into inland areas a little bit later in the day. So we have mostly inland storms today, a warm afternoon with high UV indexes, and then mostly dry conditions nearer the coast. For boaters, pretty good day for you guys. Northwest wind coming in at about 10 knots should bring you two foot seas and a light chop. Only a few tides to talk about today. A uh, 847 high tide, a low tide at 323, and another high tide at 819. Forecast looking like this through the week ahead. Expect an isolated shower or two, mostly in inland areas, and daytime highs near 90. Back to you. Thanks, John. As far as your commute right now, it's 647. We're seeing that building fire still being reported just south of University near 301. At uh, Palm Springs Street and Desert Inn Avenue, be aware of that, not causing slowdowns on the roadway, but we are also seeing another fire in the Main Street area at Ringling. It's actually been cleared up, so don't have to worry about that. Our roadways are still looking good at this point in the morning. No major slowdowns to report, but we are still seeing a couple of accidents on I-75 southbound, more in the South Sarasota County area. This one is right at exit 179 at Toledo Blade Boulevard to exit 191 at River Road. A left lane is blocked because of that accident. Another one just further south, I-75, there's an accident before exit 182 at Sumter Boulevard. We're also seeing slowdowns now coming about because of that accident. So just be aware of that as you head southbound on the interstate. All right, thank you. A new U.S. government study showing possible links between cell phones and cancer. Yeah, the study from the National Toxicology Program found what it called low incidences in two types of tumors in male rats that were exposed to the type of radio frequencies that are commonly emitted by cell phones. The findings suggest potential public health issues, but the previous studies involving humans showed little evidence of a link between cancer and cell phones. The U.S. has long held the position that current evidence doesn't prove that cell phone use leads to more health risks. I'm sure they'll keep an eye on it because of, we're seeing it in rats. Yes, and, and we've heard potential. about it before. People think it causes tumors, you know, so. from holding it to your ear or even if you use hands-free. Oh, 
I'm sure the studies aren't over. No. Well, in entertainment news, Johnny Depp is under a court order this Memorial Day. The actor is ordered to keep 100 yards away from his estranged wife, Amber Heard. In a deposition, Heard swore her husband threw a cell phone at her and submitted photos of her bruised face. She also claims Depp pulled her hair, screamed at her, and hit her repeatedly. Heard filed for divorce last week, citing irreconcilable differences. But his ex-wife says that he is a gentle, gentle person. And who's sorry now? Justin Bieber spent the holiday weekend with a legal headache. He's being sued for copyright infringement over his multi-platinum song, Sorry. Singer-songwriter Casey Dinal filed suit claiming that Sorry uses a vocal riff from her song, Ring the Bell. She's asking for unspecified damages and attorney's fees, and so far, no comment from the Biebs. The X-Men have toppled the Avengers in the superhero wars. X-Men Apocalypse debuted in first place this holiday weekend with an estimated $65 million. Alice Through the Looking Glass with Johnny Depp as the star was good enough for taking second, just over $28 million, but it, it actually underperformed at the box office. The Angry Birds movie was third, and Captain America Civil War fell to fourth place. Hmm. Well, still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. A look at uh, how Coca-Cola is getting into the patriotic spirit, and it's just in time for Memorial Day. We're coming back. Zooming into the Sarasota Bayfront. The all-new official Suncoast forecast, only on ABC7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. On the Suncoast. And across America, the news you care about. Is on your Suncoast News at 5. And ABC World News Tonight at 6.30. People you trust. Scott Dennis, Haley Wilkes, David Muir. First, the Sun Coast. And then the world. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident. And it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case, we want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call U.S. Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits in the bottle of strips. Act now, and U.S. Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call U.S. Med today. You'll be glad you did. Hey, Vanna, have you heard about the new Wheel of Fortune lottery game? You bet. It's the ticket for some lucky lottery players to come here to Hollywood. For a chance to participate in a private, non-broadcast taping of Wheel of Fortune with us. Play the Florida Lottery game for a chance to win up to $250,000 instantly. And enter to win a VIP trip to Hollywood for a chance to win up to $1 million. Non-winning tickets only. Play the new Wheel of Fortune game today. Scratch, spin, and win. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Dot com. Need a mortgage? Compare and save. Trusco Bank offers a variety of low-cost mortgages that are right for you with friendly personal service. That's made Trusco one of the area's top mortgage lenders. Visit TruscoBank.com for details. Your hometown bank, Trusco. Equal housing lender. Hey, I'm really glad that you're taking a few moments to check out this video about the ministry of First Sarasota, downtown Baptist Church. I'm William Hill, lead pastor here at First Sarasota. For the last 15 years, it's been my privilege to share in the life of this faith community, a community that centers itself around faith, friends, and family. Indeed, it is a ministry that's been in existence right here in this wonderful city for over a century. 
Welcome back at 654, and here's what you need to know before you head out the door this morning. A Manatee County Commissioner is suing the county she lives and works in. Robin DiSabatino wants the county to pay her legal bills in a public records lawsuit. A 90-year-old Sarasota woman is afraid of losing her home after a series of code violations have been issued by the city. Neighbors have helped with repairs, but the fines keep racking up. And people around the Sun Coast will stop to honor and remember those men and women who have fought for our country on this Memorial Day. As far as your commute this morning, it looks pretty good in Manatee County. Still a building fire being reported at Palm Springs Street and Desert Inn Avenue in Sarasota. And as far as the interstate, we are still seeing an accident on I-75 southbound in the Venice Northport area. A couple there, one at the Toledo Blade Boulevard southbound lanes. One left lane is blocked on I-75 southbound. Another one at exit 182 at Sumter Boulevard. So be aware of those accidents. Back in Omaha, 63 degrees. We'll have a daytime high today. The top side in most places near the 90 degree mark. Rain showers will be around, but they'll be mostly inland. Along the beaches, we should be pretty dry. And over the next several days, pretty typical summer weather. All right, thank you, John. Coca-Cola has caught the patriotic fever. The soda company has rolled out its patriotic-themed soda cans to celebrate 75 years in partnership with the USO. They also honor members of the military. The 12-ounce cans are red, white, and blue and say, I'm proud to be an American. And they come in 20, 24, and 35 packs. The cans do. The cans will be in stores through the Independence Day holiday. And following awesome. Budweiser's suit, who Budweiser had, it's going to put America on their cans. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I wonder if they're flying off the shelves. Keep I'm your eye sure out for them. Patriotic. I would think a lot of barbecues around today, yeah. so I'm sure... Uh, a lot of them being fueled by uh, <laughs> some Coca-Cola products. Coke is a classic. All right, we'll stick around. Good morning, America is coming up next. Enjoy your Memorial Day holiday.